4.30 on Sunday and it's going to be Liverpool versus Tottenham. And it's going to be such a big game for Liverpool, it really is. Big game for both teams, to be honest, because it could actually... It is literally a six-pointer in, in, in the biggest of ways. If Tottenham win against Liverpool, they will go above us. And we are in third right now, so I think they would actually um, they'd go above Liverpool and Chelsea. So they would actually probably jump right into third, possibly. That's how it would work, because they've got uh, two points behind Chelsea and Liverpool, so they would go in front. Now, if we win, then we could, we could actually keep ourselves in third, keep ourselves a little bit away from Chelsea, and also put a bit of distance between us and Tottenham, which means that we kind of you know, solidify our top four bits, you know, at the moment. So, but we're going to get straight into it, into the three-minute preview, and it's going to start on Liverpool versus Tottenham. Three minutes, and we are going. And this is one that I don't need to do a lot of research for. We played Tottenham already this season, and we got smashed 4-1, okay? I think Mohamed Salah was the only one that got a goal for us. Besides that, Lovren had an awful game that day. He got substituted after about 20 minutes. Um, and it really wasn't, it wasn't a good game, it really wasn't. And it was coming after that period when we had, um, we'd been beaten by Man City as well. And it's just one of them. I, I'm hoping right now, looking at the team, yes, we've had the bad results against Swansea, the bad result against West Brom, but then we picked up a really good result against Huddersfield. And it looked a lot more professional. Looked very, it looked completely different. We've had results. In recent times as well, we've shown that we can do great things against like Man City and stuff like that. Taking Man City's unbeaten record in the Premier League and we beat them 4-3. That is the type of performance that we need to be putting in against Tottenham and that's what we desperately need. We really do need it. Not also ignoring the fact that depending on what happens with Man United's game, if we win this game, I think our goal difference is almost the same as well. There is a chance that Liverpool could go second, even if it's only temporarily. Depending on what happens with Man United anyway, if they win their game, then obviously that can't happen. But still, it's positive moving forward. Now, for Liverpool, in terms of a starting lineup, for me, you've got to go with Karius in goal. Karius so far has proved to me that he's actually a better goalkeeper than Mignolet right now, which doesn't say a lot. I do, I do realise that. But Karius is the better goalkeeper right now. He should be in for this game. Right back, I would... Hmm, I'm tempted to go with Trent Alexander-Arnold, but maybe let's go with Joe Gomez because I think he's maybe a bit more defensively solid. Not, you know, taking anything away from Trent Alexander-Arnold. I think he's a great player. Just think Gomez would be the one for this one. Then moving into that centre-back, I'd actually be going with Lovren and Van Dijk. And the reason for that is Lovren's not done too badly lately and he had a good performance against Huddersfield. Put him with Van Dijk and I think that partnership could actually blossom quite well. Could actually bring the best out of both players. Left back, I'd be tempted to actually again to go with Andrew Robertson. He's he's really good defensively. He he whips in a mean ball and he's very very good at both defensive and attacking aspects of the game. Midfield, I'd be I'd be looking at maybe a similar midfield to what we did against Huddersfield, which would be Emre Chan, uh, James Milner, and Henderson. There was nothing wrong with it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And up front, I'd be having to go with Firmino, Salah and Mane. It speaks for itself. I think Mane is coming into better form right now. And I just think Salah, he's still scoring. Yes, it was a penalty, but still, he's still scoring. Firmino, he's vital to our link-up play up front. And in prediction, I'm going to go for a Liverpool 2-1 win. That is what I'm going to go for. It's bold, but I think we can do it. And that is three minutes. I do think we can do it. I really do. And I'm, pos I'm positive. I've always said it, guys. I'm always nervous before we play. Always, always nervous. And that's always going to be the same throughout this season. Just nervous before we play. But we've got if we can put it together, get a good result, it can only set us up really for the rest of the season. It could be it could be a really vital game on, on what takes course for the rest of the season. And it, it will keep us much more in touch with staying in the top four rather than having to fight to be in it, which I think is vital for Liverpool. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you please, do like this video and subscribe if you are new around here. Get your comments in the comments below. Let's have a discussion. Spurs fans, Liverpool fans, how do you think this is going to go? Let me know it all in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. As always, there will be a reaction video after the game on Sunday, and I will catch you later.